Well, I thought it, you know, it was, a, it was a typical OVC conference game. You come out there with a lot of emotion, a lot of fire, a lot of fight, 31 to 30 at halftime. Um, and it's, it comes down to a possession game, the reality. I mean, it's an eight-point game, but it comes down to one possession ultimately down the stretch, and they hit their free throws when we had to foul. I thought we did some, some things that uh, were really exciting in terms of 15, I think, uh, 15 assists. That's a positive for us. Um, we're really starting to buy in to, you know, make other, be part of a mob squad, make others better uh, um, from an offensive standpoint. We've got to continue to create some more movement and things like that as well. But, um, and then defensively, when we just needed that stop, when you cut it to three, when you cut it to five, and, and then go back to a two point game, uh, you have to just get that one stop without fouling. You got to at least give, us a, give yourself a chance to, to get a rebound. And uh, unfortunately, we just we didn't do enough um, uh, defensively down the stretch, and they made some big shots and made their free throws. Uh, you know, coaches in a team that can fight through adversity, a team that can bounce back pretty quickly. Uh, talk a little bit about just that notion. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, these guys are the best. Like, I love these guys. Like, I, like it, it's um, like it, it, we have, we're, we're going to show up tomorrow. Uh, we're going to work tomorrow. And you have 16 more games. Uh, obviously, you want to be 2-0, and so especially at home with uh, the way the, the conference uh, schedule is at the end of the season as well. But I think what we have to focus on is our daily, you know, our daily attack of like, oh, now we have some more information of uh, how we got to be a little bit better tomorrow. Um, and uh, we have that information on a daily basis. But sometimes you just got to kind of get hit in the face and, 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 and really appreciate the, the truth. Uh, it starts with me. There's no doubt about it. I made uh, several mistakes throughout the day, uh, throughout the game today that put these guys in. Um, I can't, the amount of times that they just go out there and make a play um, is they, they, they cover for uh, each other and, my, and me on a daily basis. And I think we just got to continue to go out there and try to limit any mistakes we have from a coaching staff, myself, and then the players individually as well. And, and the exciting part is it's not like I'm going in. I have Shamar Wright sitting right next to me. Like, he's going to be sitting next. You coming back tomorrow? Yep. Okay. So he'll be back with me tomorrow. Is L.A.? Make sure L.A. comes back tomorrow. Right, okay, you got him. Um, he'll be here tomorrow. All right? And that's – and what the heck? Like, we lost the game. I hate it. it. It's, like, really bothering me right now. There's no doubt about it. But – He'll be here tomorrow, and he'll be ready to, to be better tomorrow. And that's how we're looking at it moving forward because, you know, people are coming at us right now. And, uh, and unfortunately, we, we took the loss today. Jamar, 21 points to the team, and then also five, five steals to the team. Talk a little bit about your game today. Um, I just came out with a mindset to be aggressive. Uh, my coaches and my teammates have been telling me to um, really try to um, – Embrace being who I am, and I feel like um, playing on both ends of the court, defense and offensively, I've just got to be aggressive, and that what that counts to. Uh, Coach, they had 13 offensive rebounds and 18 second chance points. Mm -hmm. What did they do so well on the offensive line? They just worked. They just went at it. They attacked it every single time. I know. I wish it was. Uh, I wish it was something that um, you know we got caught in some rotations, and then when you rotate, you gotta you gotta make that next rotation and really crack on the weak side. I mean, I'm sure the ball bounced their way a few times, but they kind of made it bounce their way. And I thought they're at, that's what they do. They're they're one of the top rebounding teams in the country. Their their rebound differential is uh, I think top nine in the country. Uh, they have one guy averaging about 16 rebounds the last few games, and um, I, you know. I think from that perspective, that's ultimately um, they just went and got it, and, and we didn't do it enough to 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 go get it. Rayshon had picked up two fouls mm -hmm. in the first five minutes. How difficult is it to play with him on the bench? I mean, it's difficult. He's a good player. And I mean, the reality of it is, like, I'll sit there and you, you play that game as a coach uh, back and forth a ton. And um, I was planning on playing him in that first half more. Uh, really about that six minute mark, I was really going to put him back in, put it because uh, I'm sure he didn't even you know finish with a with a ton of fouls, um, you know. Anyways, like he, he, how many fouls did he end up? He ended up with what two fouls. So I thought that you know it was more of a decision that uh, some other guys went in there. Uh, it ended up being 31-30, kind of held it. Um, we held our own. We had a nice little groove going. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, it, it, it changes it a little bit. I like how we responded when we the guys that came off the bench. 
Um, but that's something that where I just got to play him moving forward. Um, and, 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 and that's something that starts with me. Like he, he's, he's a smart enough and a veteran enough player uh, to still play aggressively, do the right things, and, and keep him himself in the game. And, and, um, and we'll, we'll, I'll be better at that moving forward. Smart. The game kind of felt like it was back and forth, back and forth, and you guys never really got on the run. What do you think about that? Um, I feel like uh, Western Nerds made plays. Um, like Coach said, they they were battling, they were battling, and they just got the better end of us tonight. Uh, those offensive rebounds were hurting us, and they made some tough shots, which is their division one team. They're an OVC team, so that's what, that's what to expect in this league. Coach, talk a little bit about the elbow for the Rock next week. Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. I mean, it's a long trip. Uh, we have to leave. You know, when we'll practice here Wednesday morning, we'll head down there. Um, I think, what are they, 1-1 one and one or 2-0? and oh? I know they've at least won one game. Um, we've had two battles with them. They're a physical team. They're extremely talented. Uh, last year, we, we got up early on them. They chipped away, and we ended up winning on a last-second shot. They came into our place and, and um, you know, really uh, took, a, took an approach of, um, you know, needing to win, and they, and, they, and they got us at our place last year. So, you know, I think ultimately we'll, we'll um, dive into Little Rock this week, no doubt, uh, starting even tomorrow. Um, but at the end of the day, it comes down to, you know, part of the Little Rock preparation is ultimately starts with us. Um, I have a group of guys that um, if, we can, if we can go into a game uh, tightening up what we need to tighten up, uh, I'm I'm excited about you know any challenge uh, that we're with who we have moving forward. So it's going to be a we need to go out there and, and perform, and obviously we want to go get a win. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks. Thank you, guys.